Matriculation! Hey, um, haven't seen you guys in a bit. Let me explain for a moment. A while ago, on the comments section, if you read those, which you probably don't, I mentioned that I have some things going on that I just need a quick break from YouTube just so I can get those done. It's mostly education related. However, I did mention that there was a surprise. I think. I did, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. But anyway, I was mentioning the surprise and um, it was actually a computer that I've been building. Okay, I know that doesn't sound that impressive, but to me it is because I've never actually touched a piece of electricity in my goddamn life. But let's just say that with this new glorious PC, basically it will allow me to run things like Metro Exodus a lot, lot smoother so that I can actually um, play certain games that I wanted to play and record, but better. So I guess now I'm back and um, oh, without further ado, here's the video. Now, I love the internet. It's a fun, wondrous place where you can talk to anyone and do anything. However, I won't say that the internet is perfect, you know what I mean? Turning memes and hate crimes to this and, and this and... Oh boy. But the internet is a wacky place and in some cases can be a real wild west. One example of this is from my own Steam account about three years ago. There was this one person who decided to add me and uh, I accepted because, well, why not? What could possibly happen? Well, as it turns out, he added me because he was a Swedish neo-Nazi propaganda officer person. Whoever that is. I don't even know if I said that right. But the point is, he wanted to um, convert me into neo-Nazism. Now, um, the thing about me is, despite my name, I'm devoutly neutral. Mostly because if I pick a side, I'll get my throat ripped out by everyone. And, you know, I wish I had the original screenshot of our, like, three-minute conversation before he, you know, blocked me. But the best part I could do was probably the last part when he asked what political alignment I was, which basically went like this. Ah, my condolences. What political party are you with anyway? None, I'm politically neutral. That's a shame. After all, political neutrality is the staple of an uneducated mind. This user has blocked you. Basically, just be careful about that. There are a lot of people trying to hurt you one way or another, and it's best just to keep a lookout for those red flags. Not, not, not those ones, but those are pretty important to watch out for too. Speaking of European countries, the internet also teaches things that no one would know about the world. Like, for example, that Slavs exist. And also that Swedes exist, looking at you, that one guy. But, uh, more importantly out of all of these is, uh, Orangina. Okay, but what's Orangina? Well, it's a French multi-purpose product, basically just orange juice. Simple, right? <laughs> Wrong. Apparently this product is a drink, but also aftershave, dish and floor cleaner, detergent, so you can clean your car, acne treatment, and a furry aphrodisiac. Wait, what? Yeah, I forgot to mention, all their ads had furries somewhere. Kind of hypocritical of me to be judging, but if you've seen the ads, you'd understand. Most of them are cute, like the girl who laughs like a hyena, because coincidentally they are a hyena. Or that one poodle who gets her nails cut and then she freaks the fuck out. But, um, some of these are a little bit more, uh, suggestive. I would like to have these one day, just because it's such a weird thing but also to test the ads and how well the product works. I'm always willing to try something once, like Vegemite or Marmite, both of which I love. Anyway, I was gonna make a third point of this video, but uh, I got nothing. <laughs>